It's been 17 years since the terrorist attacks of September 11th. Thousands lost their lives in the deadliest terror attack in the history of the United States. Today, firefighters throughout central Massachusetts remember those who died in the tragedy. Our Cam Jandro joins us live now with more. Cam? Olivia, nearly two decades later and first responders still have very fresh memories of 9-11 in the back of their minds. And they say regardless of whether or not they lost somebody that day, it still is very hard to deal with. Worcester firefighters pay their respects to the first responders who lost their lives on September 11, 2001. Firefighters stood at attention outside the Grove Street headquarters at 9.59 a.m., the time the South Tower of the World Trade Center collapsed. This is a uh, testament of you know, what the fire service is, but they were in there making a, uh, a giant rescue, so they ended up getting tens of thousands of people out of that building. Spencer Fire Chief Robert Parson played high school football at David Prouty with Brian Sweeney. Sweeney was on United Flight 175, which flew into the South Tower. He was one, one year ahead of me in school, but we're, we're friendly, we knew each other very well. It's kind of a devastating thing that I think about every year. Nearly 3,000 people were killed in the attacks. 343 were firefighters. Parsons, who was the East Brookfield fire chief at the time, still has vivid memories of 9-11. It was a beautiful day. Probably the bluest sky that you can remember. <laughs> it's hot. A piece of the Twin Towers stands outside the Westboro Fire Department. For Lieutenant Dan Hare, the fragment of an I-beam is a daily reminder of the sacrifices made 17 years ago. It kind of keeps us tied in all year round to that uh, tragedy and plus it hit the fire service big that day and we always remember the the civilians that were hurt. Fire stations across central Massachusetts flew flags at half staff, a visible symbol to remember the tragic events of September 11th. You know, we keep them in our thoughts every day. This is one of the largest attacks on our country ever, uh, that people do remember it forever and ever. Now, Parson says one of the toughest things he's had to deal with is the fact that the planes that left from Boston flew right over Spencer. He says he wants the younger generations to understand what actually happened that day, and they never forget it.